Well, it's been a little while since I've been on to talk to y'all from or done anything with Jed's Outdoors. It's in a lull right now. Turkey season coming up very soon, and deer season over, and we're just getting trying to get back to normal life for a little while. I decided to do something that I thought might be fun. If you've heard about the AI things going on, like ChatGPT, I thought I'd do something different. So I asked ChatGPT to give me the top five reasons duck hunters think duck hunting sucks. And I can tell you some of my reasons, but I think I'm just going to let ChatGPT tell you why it thinks duck hunters think duck hunting sucks. And then I'm going to give you whether I think that's true or not. And you can absolutely feel free to comment and tell me why I'm right or wrong. So reason number one, I don't think these are in any particular order, but unpredictable weather. It says duck hunters often have to deal with unpredictable weather conditions, which can make the hunting experience uncomfortable and challenging. High winds, heavy rain, and extreme cold can all make duck hunting a miserable experience. I agree with this to an extent. All right. One day, I went hunting with some friends. We drove um, to one of the guys was from here, where I'm, where I'm from, Jasper, the Jasper area. And uh, Jerry and I drove to uh, Gunnersville. We got jumped in the boat with Matthew and Chuck, and uh, went and got set up on a spot we'd seen a lot of ducks before. And like an an unpredicted lightning storm, like it was supposed to rain some, but it started lightning like crazy, and we had to pack up and haul on out of there real fast. Uh, in order to keep from getting struck by lightning. I, I do agree with that to an extent. On the other hand, you know, I kind of think that most of the time it's not very, it's totally unpredictable. You get an idea the night before what the weather's going to do, you dress for it, or you lay in bed. All right. Number two, limited access to hunting grounds. Finding suitable hunting grounds can be a challenge, and many hunters have to travel long distances to find a good spot. Additionally, Many prime hunting locations are on private land, which requires permission from landowner and access. I'm not going to whine, but I am going to say that for guys like me, who's mainly a public land hunter, or if, I, if I'm fortunate enough to get invited to go with somebody, and I'm always thankful for that, there are a lot of farmers now who are, who are planting part of their place for ducks. And does that cut the ducks off from coming to the wintering grounds where I like to hunt, which would be the area around Gunnersville, Alabama? I don't know how that works. It's, it's a little bit of a mystery to me. Um, but I know we had a much colder winter this year, much colder duck season than we have probably in the past four. And we didn't see very many more ducks. And, and it, it got colder up north. The theory of it getting cold north and pushing ducks down, I'm not real sure how good that is. but. Anyway, no need to cry over spilt milk. That's a, any, any sport favors those who are well equipped to do it. And it uh, seems to me that people who have done well and, and, and been successful and made lots of money are a little more well equipped to do it than most. Let me go to number three. Decreasing hunting, excuse me, decreasing duck populations. Not sure on this one. Now, I need to look, came in unprepared. I just really wanted to be surprised by these. And, um... I don't know. Are the duck populations dwindling, or are they just not showing up? I don't. I don't know. Duck populations have been declining in recent years. This says, which means that hunters have fewer opportunities to bag their limit. This can be frustrating for some hunters who spend a lot of time and money preparing for the hunting season. That's true. Uh, having having a difficult time getting ducks uh, is well. That was loud. Having a difficult time getting ducks to your spot is uh, that's that's a that's a that's a big problem and and yes it can be frustrating limited time that's definitely frustrating i, I have a full-time job uh, i'm wanting to deer hunt more now my boys tend to deer hunt a little bit more than they do duck hunt so that's kind of what we're doing but anyway I, I i understand that i don't know if decreasing duck populations is really a top five reason total populations but maybe maybe the number of ducks we get here you know, in the south, especially you know in my state of Alabama, which was pretty low numbers to begin with. All right, four, equipment malfunctions. Duck hunting requires specialized equipment, including decoys, blinds, and calls. If any of this equipment malfunctions, it, it, it can ruin the hunting experience. That's true. I mean, you, you get, if you're hunting from a boat and 
your engine decides it's not going to work that day, you got problems, man. Uh, it's 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 probably done for that day. I I get that. I could see that. I don't know if I'd make it top five because it's fairly rare that an equipment malfunction shuts down your entire hunt, or it has been in my experience. So I'm not sure about that chat GPT. Good try though. A five. I can definitely agree with this one. High cost. Duck hunting can be an expensive hobby. Way of life. I don't know about hobby. With cost for gear, travel, licenses, and other expenses adding up quickly. For many hunters, the cost is simply too high to justify the time and effort required. I get that. You're going. You're not really having a good time. You're not killing many. I would go. I would go anyway. I mean, I, I can't replace that time with good friends. And uh, I would still go some, even if we never pulled the trigger. Uh, I might move the, the meeting spot to Waffle House or something, but uh, I'm not sponsored by Waffle House, but they can if they want to. I look the part. But it, it's expensive. Uh, it's expensive for duck hunt. But I must say, uh, I, I got to go on a hunt a couple years back with, uh, with Jeff Coates, uh, Pit Boss Waterfowl, Maryland. And standing back and looking at, how much was the cost of this hunt? Well, he had his fees, and we only got to go one day out of the three that we had set aside to go. He didn't, he didn't ding us up on that. He, you know, he was he was fair with us on that, even though he didn't get to go either. It's not like he went without us. But the day we got to go, man, we had a blast, and he was just very accommodating, fun. Told us everything we needed to know. Had great information on the season and and on the various birds that we were seeing, and um, and he put us on the spot. He, He's good at what he does, and when you pay for that with that guide, I can't speak for every guide, but I can speak for him. Uh, you're gonna get what you're what you're paying for. But on top of that great hunt and that great experience, we had to rent a place to stay, which was right on the beach, which was awesome. It's beautiful up there, um, Ocean City, Maryland. We we had to pay for our food. We we had you know there was gasoline, a lot of expenses traveling that far away i mean it's uh, it was uh, i think 13 plus hours straight or of straight driving we didn't drive straight but you know we we stopped and ate and got out and stretched and things like that because whiz and chuck are getting old i'm good but uh, they had to get out and stretch a little bit so anyway that's chat gpt's top five reasons that duck hunters say duck hunting sucks i don't think i agree with it completely i agree with some of it how do you feel about it leave me a comment Tell me what you think. If you'd like to see more Jed's content, subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on Facebook. What else am I on? I think that's it right now. But check out Jed's. We've got more things coming your way. Trust me. Some stuff we can't talk about right now. But it's coming. Thanks for watching.